we met at church. I uh, was looking for a church for the longest time and ended up going to uh, Midway after my parents insisted that we, uh, uh, we try it. So I went to Midway and I went to this Bible study and I saw her there. I was also attending Midway Church and I joined a life group, which is a Sunday school class for single people. And there was one Sunday that I was talking to a friend and Eric walked into the room and I saw him. I thought he looked cute and everything. I was talking to my friend and um, he introduced himself and then he noticed I had on my LaGrange College alumni ring because I graduated from there. He said, oh, I went to LaGrange College. I was like, oh, that's cool. So, you know, we were talking and everything. And then the, um, turns out the, the Sunday school class teacher quit, so the class was kind of disbanded, so I didn't know if I was going to see him again. It's a big church and everything, and, you know, we hit start talking, and he's like, friend me on Facebook. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. And then I thought she was really cute, and then we started talking after the Bible study. I joke around with her, saying that she followed me around like a lost puppy, though. So she denies it, but I think she did. But uh, we started talking afterwards and then getting to know her. She thought she was really cool. And it turns out she worked at the hospital where I was trying to get a job and eventually did get a job at Tanner Hospital. So. so I couldn't find him on Facebook. I tried, but I couldn't find him. So I just kind of was like, oh, gave up. And then um, a few weeks later, he walks into Tanner where I was working. He's like, hey, Allison, I just got a job at Tanner. And I was like, no way. So I had to do his paperwork, and so I was like, that guy again, you know? And then so he <clears throat> asked, why didn't you friend me on Facebook? And I was like, I couldn't find you. So he uh, was like, what's your last name? So I told him, he looked me up, and it turns out we had a mutual friend. And I was like, oh, we have a mutual friend. And I thought I knew this guy from high school, and then later on I was like, no, I don't know him from high school. I know him from college with this outing. and. It was an excuse to message Eric because I already kind of thought he was cute and funny. I wanted to get to know him more, so I messaged him, like, oh, by the way, I know him from college, not high school. And then he's like, oh, okay. So then we just started talking from there. And I would message him at work, like, you need to come back to get these vaccines or these titers. You know, you need to come get your TB test read, you know, because it was part of my job, but also an excuse to see Eric. And then we just started talking from there. and. Um, and hanging out and then I was hanging out with my friend uh, my friend that was there when I met him and we were deciding where to go eat dinner and Eric was messaging me that oh I'm not doing anything you know and my friend Yasmin she was like you should invite Eric to dinner with us and I was like I don't know we had just started I just started Tanner and I had uh, gotten in an accident and we ended up well before I officially got hired I asked her out and then my first day of Tanner working there, I got into an accident. And then I asked her, she ended up picking me up and we ended up going to Italian food and see a movie. <laughs> you know, I didn't know if he liked me, I, I don't know. She's like, yo, yeah, invite him, invite him. So I said, hey, you wanna come to dinner with us? He's like, yeah, sure. So we went to Applebee's and then Yasmin was like, oh, I gotta leave, I gotta go take care of something. So it was just me and Eric, and we just spent the whole night laughing and talking and teasing each other about Georgia and Auburn, because I'm an Auburn fan, he's a Georgia. And we just had a really great night, and then he asked me out on a date after that, and the rest was history. The original plan was to take her out to dinner at Little Hawaiian, and then after Little Hawaiian, take her on a walk around a square to a little amphitheater we have in Carrollton, and we're just us, and where I'd propose there. But the weather did not cooperate, so we ended up, I get, ended up getting flowers and doing it at Little Hawaiian. Eric and I had been talking about getting married for a while, but he had some health issues and had to quit his job, so he wasn't working, and so he didn't really, you know, I didn't really want him to be pressured into, you know, buying a ring and getting a place together, doing a wedding when he didn't have any money. So I was like, you know, we can just wait until you, you know, are able to work again or until your health improves. And, you know, I was ready, but I just didn't want to pressure him. And then he was like, well, one night we were at the mall and he was like, well, let's just get your finger sized, you know, just, you know, for when the day comes, you know, just so I'll know and stuff. And he, uh, he acted like it wasn't going to happen anytime soon. And so then 
Um, a few weeks later, he was like, hey, do you remember what your ring size is? I forgot. And then my friend Elizabeth, she messaged me. She said, oh my gosh, my wedding size is a size five. What is your size? And I was like, I don't know. And she was like, please find out for me. And I was like, that's weird. But Eric was like, I just, you know, I forgot. And, but, and then I said, I don't know. It's not my job to remember it. <laughs> And then he was like, oh, well, we won't need it for a while anyway. And so I said, okay, well, then we'll just get it sized, you know, resized later on. What I didn't know is that he was already looking at rings. And apparently he had lunch with my parents to ask their permission. And then so um, he told me, he was like, let's go out to eat to Little Hawaiian, um, which is a nice restaurant that we like. And, and then we'll go back to your place and play some video games and everything. And I said, oh, okay. And then I said, hey, there's this jewelry store on the square we could get you know my finger resized he was like oh that's a great idea and i was like yeah okay and then he was like but it's not gonna happen for a while you know no need to worry about it so i was like yeah that's true let's just not worry about it so um i got home from work and he showed up to my apartment i noticed he was dressed up nice and i was like that's weird but i didn't think anything of it because we were going to a nice restaurant so we go to the restaurant and then I noticed he looked, you know, a little nervous, but I just thought it was because of something else. I had no idea. And then after we ate dinner, he was like, I need to go to the bathroom. And I had, they uh, got with the manager, Anita, and she got out dessert, special dessert for her. And then uh, after we got done eating, I excused myself to use the restroom, the restroom. And um, I came back with the ring and uh, people, uh, Anita with the dessert, had my and server had my server had my phone and Nita had dessert and I had flowers in the ring and got down on one knee and called her by her full name and I had a little speech prepared so she was totally off guard caught off guard she was not expecting it and then after dinner we ended up going to her parents house where my family was waiting and her parents were waiting and we celebrated our engagement and one thing about the engagement was, I didn't realize until afterwards, was it was her grandparents' wedding anniversary that day. Her 62nd wedding anniversary. So I said, okay. So I just thought he was going to the bathroom. Then all of a sudden he comes back with flowers and he had a box with him and there was like waitresses with cheesecake and he got down on one knee and he gave me this whole huge long speech about you know, how we're perfect for each other and how I've made his life better. And and I was just like freaking out. I was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is happening. And then he um, gave me the ring and he asked me and gave me the flowers. And then the waitresses had cheesecake for us. And we just, um, that, that was our night. It was a really great night. And then afterwards, we went back to my parents' house to celebrate with uh, my family and some of his family. The three things I love about Allison is her sense of humor, her patience with me when when I messed up. There are three things that I love most about Eric would be. He's always very cheerful, very upbeat. He has, you know, a glass half, half full kind of attitude instead of a glass half empty. You know, he's an optimist, very, you know, optimistic. He can, you know, always, always make me happy, always trying to look on the bright side of things. And her caring nature how she's always there for me when I need her. Especially times I've been in the hospital, she's driven up after work, after a long day at work, to come visit me. I love her her sense of humor, how we have, we both make each other laugh. I love how passionate she is about her sports team, even if I'm not a big fan about her Auburn Tigers. I just love how passionate she is and how we can have a real rival, it's, you know, it's nice rivalry between each other during football season. He's very kind and considerate. He's always asking, you know, how can I help? What can I do? He's just always trying to think of me and, you know, how he can, you know, make my life easier and how he can show me that he loves me. And I just really, I love that about him. My face lights up when he comes into the room because I just get so excited. and. I always know that when I see him, you know, it's just gonna make my, any bad day better, you know, just because of the way that he treats me and how he just helps me out and, you know, makes me a better person. And um, the third thing I would say that I love most about Eric is that he 
is very funny. He always knows how to make me laugh. He's just a hilarious person, just an all around fun person to be around and just is always making me laugh, keeping me in a great mood. And I just, I really love those three, three things about him. In five years, I see us married, our relationship grown stronger and both excelling in our careers. Yeah, and healthy. Very healthy. Happily married to this beautiful Georgia alumni. So she gets mad, we play a Mario Party, and I try to cheat and add one more star to the start. And it still never ends up working out because she usually ends up winning anyways. Isn't that right? Yes, I do. I mean, I can't help it. I'm just that good, <laughs> you know. And another thing that we fight about is we also play Monopoly on Eric's phone and he can sense what I'm about to do and then he'll do something else, you know, just to try to get the character spaces just so I can't get it, even <laughs> though I... And we're supposed to help each other out by not letting the computers win, but <laughs> guess who doesn't always help each other out? Yeah, yeah. Most looking forward to it being over and the stress of planning the wedding being over and we can enjoy married life and looking forward to the honeymoon too. What I'm most looking forward to to the wedding is seeing Eric when I walk down the aisle and then when we leave the wedding we'll never have to say goodbye again because we'll be living together for the rest of our lives. Can't wait to see you guys at the wedding. Look forward to seeing everybody. We're so excited to see you guys at the wedding and for you guys to come out. It's going to be a fun time and we love everyone so much.